We're going to go ahead and place our um, desensitizer here, prep around of time, suction that. And here I'm using that uh, bonding agent stay again as well. I like, again, the, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not a big bottle fan, but I really like the individual doses. I think the unidose is terrific. Um, I know everyone's got their preferences, so whatever works good for you, go for it. But I'll tell you, this is just a great material. It works well. It's um, consistent. I like the thin. I, it, just, it applies well, and you can just see it really soak nicely into that surface that you're going to be working in a bonding too. Again, we've gone ahead and light cured that now. You can see I've aired it, light cured it. I'm using the um, Radii Plus light as well. I like that. A curing light, it has nice access, it has nice um, features as well, it, hand, it, it holds well in your hand, it's balanced um, and easy easy to work with too, and easy to work with within the operator as well. Here I'm going to start placing my dentin shading. Again, I'm using that Nordent, that curve tool we use on anteriors as well as uh, class 5s, as well as I use on my marginal ridges on my class 2s. And as I'm placing this, uh, the lower diagram really indicates how I'm kind of really moving and pushing this material over the surface, over the preparation, to really blend and to get that creation of that chameleon effect. Really important to really move and push this. This is, again, this has been warmed, so it's got nice sculptability. It's got nice meshing that just melds nicely and really melts right into the surfaces that you want to restore. Here you can see I'm finalizing uh, with my enamel layers here. And again, I'm respecting the rule of thirds, you know, the dentin, dent enamel, and just mainly enamel. So you can see exactly how I brought this out, making this look real and lifelike. Now you can see I've really taken everything off. The molar strips are gone, any kind of other isolation we're using. You can see here's my, my tooth, my bare tooth, ready to go ahead. And I like to use neodymons. I think they work very, very well. I use a very fine friction gripped neodymon. I'm going to go ahead and just sculpt and start to place some of my anatomy and get my occlusion correct as well as I'm making sure that I've got good rounded uh, interproximal regions and everything's flossing really nice. From here I can take and I can use a series of discs if I want to. I also use uh, some enhanced discs. I think they work well. Cups. I know everyone's got preferences on how they polish. The only thing I can suggest is when you're polishing, you do a great system that's consistent and you find a material that you can polish. Here you can see how beautiful, I mean, this luster that you can get off this microfilm with Aura is just incredible. And it's just such a nice material to work with and you don't have to futz with it. It's really, it places and it just moves and it sculpts nicely so you can get a great finish like this. And